We are we are pioneers, gentlemen. No one's ever done this before, legitimately. Gentlemen, it's time. Time to finally evolve the Kasatka into the ultimate evil lair. No longer are we going to suffer the vessel's shortcomings due in part to the limited range of its missiles. So what if I want to shoot down aircraft at the very top of the sky limit? I want to shoot them down, damn it! So, Capitan, what are you suggesting? We're gonna do the ultimate can you place a Kasatka at challenge. We're gonna plant this vessel on top of Mount Chiliad. <laughs> Oh no, not this again! Look, why do you intend on placing sea vessel out of sea? It's designed to be used out at sea, Capitan! I don't like your attitude, seaman. The Kasaka is so big, it's practically a meme vehicle at this point. As a result, if people put it in places it's not supposed to be, they instantly get mad respect. You are going to make me very seasick trying to place it up mountain. It took me five hours to clean up the missile after that stunt you pulled the last time. Eh, what else do you do around here anyways besides look at the screens all day? It's time to climb Chiliad! I highly suggest that you do not try- Too late, we're already starting. While it is very feasible to get the Kasaka most of the way up, near the top it's just way too steep to even comprehend a method of getting up to the summit. So we have to try something else. In the official Pyram Gaming Discord channel, we've been planning on how we can get a Kasaka up Chiliad for the past few months. All manner of potential routes, vehicles to use, weighing up advantages, disadvantages, Attempts have all been carried out, but to no avail. That was until we decided to completely replan on how we would move the Kasatka around the world. What if, instead of bashing the submarine around like a giant football, what if we just picked it up and moved it? Introducing the Avenger. One of the largest, most powerful, and most durable aircraft in the game. With its heavy armor, large mass, and VTOL capabilities, the Avenger is incredibly overpowered indeed. But that's before we look at the Avenger's most notably handy characteristic, its tail. Its tail is perfect, almost like it was designed to be abused. Think of the tail not as a set of rudders and elevator, but as a fork, complete with two perfectly shaped prongs that can be used like a forklift truck. Now let's look at the Kasatka itself. The Kasatka is big, long, and has four fins sticking out the sides of it. Oddly small enough for the Avengers forks to fit on. Hmm... I think you can see where this is going. Unfortunately, this didn't work as well as we hoped. Yes, the Kasatka can be lifted off the ground, just get four Avengers on four of the fins, coordinated in a group, and apply full power. But not only is it insanely difficult to go more than a few feet off of the ground, 
The vessel is so heavy, you'd be hard pressed to move it around even if you got it to the desired height. So it was back to the drawing board, where I came up with this idea. Its weight isn't exactly centred, its centre of mass is more towards the front, making the bow much heavier than the stern. Knowing this, I figured we would be able to lift the stern up with two Avengers on the rear fins, leaving only the nose to be dragged along the ground. Think of it as a sack of potatoes that you have to drag around. We would then simply have to nudge the nose in the intended direction, and we would be able to move it around. While this does work sort of going along flat ground, going up any sort of incline was just much too difficult and unwieldy. You'd may as well straight up just push a thing like we've been doing previously. So, back to the drawing board. Lifting the Kasaka using Avengers seemed promising, yet impossible. We just didn't know what we could do at this point. That was until the PRG R&D unit came up with a very simple solution to the Kasaka's weight problem. Just like many problems in the universe, often the best solution to a problem is the most simple one. Just add more Avengers! Alright, so adding to the idea of lifting the Kasatka in its entirety using four Avengers, we have an Avenger up front acting as the Nose... Guy. The Nose... Guy is the hardest job of them all, but is unfortunately also the most important, as you will see later. Anyways, the Nose Man... Nose guy, no, nose man, begins the lift by shoving their nose under the Kasatka's hull to give it the initial boost to get it fully off the ground, which solves the problem that we had earlier, simply trying to lift the thing with four Avengers. Once the Kasatka is high enough off the ground, two more Avengers join the fun by using their tails to help lift the thing. And yes, this is as fiddly as it looks, which is why we didn't really think of doing this before. If you're not careful, your rotor blades catch on the hull of the vessel and get damaged. Too much damage, and the Avenger has to sit it out until the pilot can get a replacement. During which, the Kasatka is missing someone to help lift the thing, so it ends up losing altitude, or worse. But yes, lifting the Kasatka completely off the ground is possible albeit with the requirement of a highly trained team of Avenger pilots. Needless to say, the job of actually lifting the Kasaka lies mostly with the Noseman, as well as the underbelly lifters. I don't really know what to call them. Anyways, the Noseman in particular takes the title of hardest role in this whole setup, as they have to balance being aggressive with the controls and throttle to be able to lift the nose, but also delicate enough to prevent the rotors from taking too much damage. You also have to make sure that the Kasaka doesn't list too much in one direction, otherwise the underbelly lifters can't do their job, leading to a catastrophic failure. You can lift it backwards using the tail, but the awkward camera movement as well as the centre of thrust is off-centre, so it's usually much more efficient to just use the nose to do the heavy lifting. With all that said, yes, without mods and without tricks, it's possible to beach a Kasatka somewhere and use a minimum of seven Avengers to levitate it off the ground. The only issue now is that we've gone through all the theory, it was now time to practice. Our first objective? Park it on top of a building where it couldn't be placed before. The Devon Western Hangar will suffice for training purposes. Rocket, really nice work. Okay, Beast is and King move in. Guys, we're actually going towards the front of the... That building right in front of us? Let's get on yeah. top of there. Up, 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 up. Okay, we're now reaching Devon Western Heights. We need to move it backwards. Oh, it's actually going to go on the hangar! Come on, guys. We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh Too fast, slow it down. Okay, okay slow, slow it down, down, slow down, slow down. Okay, now, Max, you need to go to your side of it. Okay, that, that guy needs to, need to lean towards Sean. Lean towards me, guys. Come on. Towards land, towards 
Uh, it's dropping, get back under, it's dropping BC. Hey, hold it down, hold it down. Ed, look at the stream! Hold it down, hold it down, boys. Ed, look at the stream! Uh, right, we need to take, um, it's fine, we can still get it. Okay, me and Mash need to push it, we need to push it, we need to push it towards that. Can I stop, stop, stop leveling out, leveling out. They got it, they got it, they got it. Maybe, down, down, down. 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 Okay, down, slowly, slowly, reduce down. power. Get out of there, get out of there. I can't get out of here, I'm stuck. Okay, guys, put it down, put it down, put it down now. Good job, everyone. Yeah. Mission success. Okay, guys, down here, Avengers, and get a screenshot with it. Woo! We did it, boys. We did it. Hell yeah. America. Oh, yes, we've got this, lads. Let's be the first to mount a Kasaka up the summit of Chiliad. And so we begun the attempts. That's an advantage to us, Yeah. That's quite Oh, I need, uh, I need replacing. I'm going down. No, it's not. He was just being brain dead. Despite me being hovering over a road, he doesn't actually... He says he can't get there at the moment, and then the second my wheel touches the floor, then he can. What, call this whole thing off or call off this attempt? Call off this attempt. What, you want to land? Yeah, yeah drop it. What, drop it or land it? Drop it! Uh, no. <laughs> no. No, drop it, no! Whee! Come on, detach, detach, detach. <laughs> <laughs> Kaboom. <laughs> Josh, I updated you, Ben. You're gonna make the blades never break. I'll not make this so easy. I guess the main reason the Avengers break the propeller is something. I'm fine, they got I finally got my invention to this fine. Oh, we're finally lifting. Whoa, okay, we whoa. whoa. Are we okay? Yeah. On my screen the Kasaka just jolted. Yeah, just look at my screen. Okay, we need a replacement underbelly. Go. Uh, what? Oh, the Kasaka's falling on my screen. Yeah, bro, quick, quick. It's fine, it's fine. We got it, we got it. Um, we're good, Rocket. We're good. On my, on my Watch screen. my screen. We're good. I can't. Well, I'll have to go away and come back or something. Someone take my place while I while I go away. Yes, okay, I'll try. Yeah, the brute force of the uh, Kasaka. Oh my god, what? I can't. <laughs> Imagine one of us makes like one of those story time animated channels and they're like, oh yep. yeah, I hope this YouTuber wants to lift a croissant on top of a mountain. I just need, um... Cool, the second day of my life. Alright, that wasn't... Did we recover? Not my whole I'm going yeah, down, someone take my there? place. Emergency. I'm so, going okay. down! <laughs> Shrek out of the way! Oh, come on. Oh, you booted me out too early. I'm gonna die. No, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, you'll have to just uh, go away and then come back. Whoa. I can't even touch this thing without it being like, whoa, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. What is going on? What is going on? Oh, my God. We're, everything is going on. Oh, no. It's falling. Oh, no. No we, no, we don't. No, we don't. Mm. No, it's Australia. We're with Westbridge. Oh what my the hell? lord. PCs. How the hell? PCs. The cas <laughs> <laughs> On my screen, BCs is holding the there. thing up single handed. Yeah, I, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, I, I've got it. Oh, I've got it. 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 I've
<laughs> Maybe we can catch it. <laughs> We're just gonna have to fly it upside down now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just let go, just let go of it. Okay. That's a lost cause. It's going in the water. No, I've got it. No, I don't. Oh, I don't got it. I really do not got it. Oh, taking me down. Guys, guys, can I tell you something weird? When I flipped over, for some reason, I was the only one holding it and actually held up. Yeah, that's some really good progress. Unfortunately, it would seem that we would run into a few setbacks, but it did give us the opportunity to learn a little more about how Rockstar's advanced game engine handles when put under such weirdness. So lifting the Kasaka vertically as we've described is actually really easy. If all we wanted was to get the Kasaka to the sky limit of GTA 5, we could do that without breaking a sweat. The challenge is moving it horizontally. For some reason, the Kasaka really hates moving horizontally under these conditions, especially when no one is in the driver's seat. Lag spikes, desyncs, and the rest will happen when trying to move the Kasaka across horizontally. On one player's screen, the lift can be going just fine, whereas someone else can see the Kasaka falling out of the sky. Though this can be fixed by simply flying away and coming back. Excessive horizontal speed will cause stability issues with the Kasaka, often leading to it shaking violently and teleporting to a random area nearby, ruining the lift. Alongside this, we've also had to deal with constant breakdowns of Avengers, most often with the Noseman, since they have the most interaction closest to the rotors. After a day of struggling and failing, we called it quits, and waited a few days before we would try again. It's not easy getting seven highly trained pilots, okay? With everything in mind and a few days to meditate, I came up with a plan. Instead of flying the Kasaka to the required height and then moving it to the goal, we would instead fly only up as high as we needed, sticking close to the ground so that we could judge how fast we were moving on a horizontal axis, as looking at the minimap for a reference on our current speed wasn't very reliable to say the least. And so, another day of attempts began. Oh god damn it. I've got it. Uh oh, I'm going okay. down. Uh, this is just not going well. Oh, oh no, I've recovered. I'm back. Oh, I got stuff for me. We're good, we're good. Oh, oh, oh. Is, for me it did as well. It is mine! Uh, Oh, Bro. Just, uh, just it was looking hopeless for us. People were getting bored, some people had to leave. Another day of attempts was going to be wasted. I pleaded one last try to everyone, and they agreed. I rearranged the roles that everyone had based on my judgement of their level of skill on the matter. I allocated myself as one of the underbelly lifters, and we gave it one last try. See how close we are to the top? Whoa! No, Dude, we're, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good! Oh my god, oh my god! Calm down, boy, we haven't made it yet. Too early for celebrations. We're drifting in the desired direction, this is good. Dude, we are right at the top, Rocket. Oh, 
Uh, oh god, I'm yeah. going down. This is the oh, worst possible time. Wait, no, we can go. Okay. We can hold, we can hold, we can hold. Guide it, guide it towards. Shimmy it, shimmy it. Right, guys, keep playing the front, shimmy it forwards. Oh god, this is the worst time to go. It's all up to you guys. It's all up to you. Okay, no, 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 don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. Don't drop it. Oh my gosh. Push it forward, push it forward. Oh my gosh. I feel so useless right now. Come on, D, push it back. Emerald, back down, Emerald, back down. Push someone get behind, in. someone get behind the thing it. and push it towards push the summit. Get behind it, in case it falls. Go forwards, go forwards, oh, no. go forwards. Fuck, I lost it. Ah. Emerald, it, slash it. it! No! We've got it! Oh, no. Someone There's get people. behind the rudders at the back and push it, on, nudge it. Back. Keep hold of it, Snivy. Keep a hold of it. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Don't celebrate yet. Keep it. No, no, don't let go. Okay, let's. Yeah, you just need to push it a little bit, otherwise, it'll go over the edge. Okay, I'm gonna go in for a push. Okay. Zoom, go up front just in case. What? Too much! Stop, 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 stop. Okay, stop it there. That's probably fine. Oh, shit. That's perfect. That's fucking perfect! Get out of the way, get out of the way. Yep. Oh my gosh! We did it, we did it! <laughs> 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 We're not, don't do that when you're at! Don't stop, we're gonna get my ass on the ground! Oh my god! Guys, we weren't drifting that way, I actually, I was actually pushing me. Yeah, we were drifting that way, I actually, I was actually pushing the entire time. Yeah, we have to get my ass on the ground. Oh my god! Look at the adventure! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> guys, guys, we need to we need to all get on top of it so we can just get a, a nice view. Oh, no, 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 no. It should be fine. It should be fine. What are you it's doing? Not, It'll be fine. It'll fall fine. on the building. Don't worry. Just leave it. Leave it. Just leave it. It's fine. Okay, we're good. It's not the end way, but it's it's a Everyone, get on the building. Oh, listen, listen to me. Everybody, land very, very carefully. No sudden. No sudden movements. <laughs> Let's go in the building over here. It's like levitating right now. On top of the yeah, it's it's actually levitating right now. <laughs> Rocket, let's get in the building here. I can run under this. Okay. I think I have my uh, little landing space. Up here. This bitch is pseudo leaning towards the bottom of the fucking corner. Yeah, just give me the type of rope walk. Yeah, right up here, Rocket. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna try the other one. Med tech, be careful, please. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe we actually did that. <laughs> this is a great <laughs> You know the funniest Get up part? here! Get up here, guys, up here! You know how you guys were saying it was drifting? I'm on the way, I'm on the way. Uh, you should be safe to get out. Uh, yeah, we should face, oh we should face this way and with the summary behind us. Oh, I did it. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. No, no, it's fine. It's actually. Yeah, like guys, amazing. get up, uh, get up here. Let's take a picture. Um, Let's go, okay. gamer. Wait for Zephyr to get I, over. I don't have a way of getting up the mountain. Like, I parked my adventure just out of reach to get back in, and the rocks I see. Oh, never mind. Yes. I get oh no, the submarine's moving. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, no, it's get not. It's just uh, <laughs> like. I can't believe we got it. I did actually think we'd do it today. We are Holy we God. are pioneers, gentlemen. No one's yeah, ever done this before, <laughs> legitimately. You recording? Three, two, one, fire! Yeah. Oh man, that was so synced. <laughs> nice. Where is he at? Oh no. <laughs> Rocket, you, you, here's what you should have gotten. Famous last words. I have a distinct feeling that because it was very slowly sliding back. I shit it in my pants. Rocket, you should have gotten King and said, Boy, I'm coming for you. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ariel. We have made history, folks, for we are the first people to legitimately summit Mount Chiliad with the largest, most heaviest vehicle in the game. I do thank you all very much for watching.